Okay, hit it again. Oh, oh. I think it's back up. I have to refresh the page to get it working again. I am? Okay, good. Alrighty then, let's continue on with it. I am the sneakiest of sneaks. Which way's up? That way's up. <laughs> you can tell for a second there because I looked over at the chat. If you want to talk to Princess Mio, go to the Chamber of the Sun. Princess Lisa, how are you feeling? I feel much better. I have to go into my sister Emile's room. Can I come in? It's far away from the bottom of the tower. Screams won't be heard down there. Why don't we settle this here? Damn it! <laughs> Shall we go? If the real sister Emile is in this castle, she must be somewhere in this room. I mean, where else would she be with this whole setup we got going on now? It is awful! Somebody looted the place. That makes this room even more suspicious. We might find something here to help us find Princess Emile. Pongo, go outside, watch. Pongo's too big for this room. I feel sorry for him. I'm gonna wait with Kongo. I'm going to. There are too many people in this room. Let's split up and search. And uh, the most obvious thing is this friggin' painting here. It's a portrait of Princess Emile. That apparently sends us to the Cleta Dimensions. What was that noise? There's nobody here! Oh, this place is kinda trippy. Hold on. Where are we? What on earth happened? It seems a magical space was created in the painting. It seems peculiar. Is this magic? In air quotes? Dart, where are you? We're in the painting! Hashel, they must be talking about this! Don't touch the painting, it seems to be linked to the world over here. I got it! Oh, there she is. Look! Emil, Sister Emil! It's too dangerous to go, or unless you think you can make that jump. Oh, she is Princess Emil! Just linked with a different dimension, it's too dangerous to jump over. She's right in front of us, how can we... Although, uh, Shona actually has a decent idea for this. I got it! We can help her if we turn ourselves into Dragoons! At least someone thought of this. Are you alright? It's hard to transform myself into a Dragoon unless it is during battle. Besides, the magic is rejecting the Dragoons. What should we do? We touch the thingy over here. Come on, there we go. It's just that easy. We can cross now. Rose just stays on the other side because she don't care. Princess Emile! Sister! Sister, Sister Emile, please wake up! 
I cannot wake her. Let me do it. Princess Emil, wake up! Wake up at once or something irrevocable will happen to Tiberoa! I wonder how that exactly worked better than uh, Lisa's cries. Oh, Emil! Um, is that a good or a bad thing? Lisa and you, where am I? You've been asleep for the past six months since we went for a horseback ride, sister. A half year? I'm sleeping the half year since the horseback ride. What about the coming of age ceremony? Yes, what about the moon dagger? It's about to be passed over to another person. Can you explain that to me about this other person and you? Uh, do we have time for this? This is actually a decent point for no time to explain. Seems I've troubled you a lot during my absence. Let us go to the Chamber of the Sun. We have to let people know the truth. And that they realized the bridge was an illusion. <laughs> well, that would kind of suck for us, wouldn't it? Down, down we go. Good lord, it must suck having to climb these stairs every day. Lisa and Emil must have legs of iron by this point. At this point, I think... Yeah, you always get caught here. Princess Emil, why are you here? Thank you for your work. My coming of age ceremony is still being held in the Chamber of the Sun, isn't it? Yes, your highness. I would like to think that Dart just flipped them off right there. How graceful! There's no comparison with the fake one. Hey, there's no time for this! Our plan's not working! Anymore! We gotta run! The only way to win that game is to not play, Pollard. Oops, it's Princess uh, Emile? Did I make it in time for the ceremony? Yes? Run away! Shall we go? Before that, though... Because if there is any fight in this game that might actually wipe me out, it's this one. What's even funnier is that the refight with her is actually a lot easier than actually, well, fighting her. And I swear they ha give uh, Dart the Heat Blade just to make this one fight hard. I mean, not harder, easier. You've been filled with 20 years of experience since you came into this world. You have reached the age that deserves the succession of the Moon Dagger as an heir to the throne of Tiberoa. Never forget the blessings of the sun, moon, and stars. Anybody, are there any objections? I assume the science to be approval of the succession because there's nobody else here. I have an objection to the succession. Oh my god, there are two Emils? And she just grabs the Moon Dagger and runs. The Moon Dagger! What is going on? King Zyre, that girl's a fake. I've been put into a sleep for the last half year. During that time, it seems this person was making a variety of social missteps. I think she's done worse than that. Father, that woman's going to take over Tiberoa by forming a conspiracy with the Garrick gang. Oh my, did he have a question mark at the end of that? Huh, I guess you found out about everything. Don't you think it's too late? I got this in my hand. Look around yourself. You think I'm cornered, huh? Who are you? I guess I cannot run in this stuffy dress. This will be a treat! Let me show you my true self! Or hate her for all the party waves I'm sure she's responsible for. Surprise, huh? This is the true self of Miss Lennis! Are we supposed to know that name? Princess Emile, please leave the room with the King and Princess Lisa! It's about get real! The Garrett Gang has fallen apart, give us the Moon Dagger! The only chance you have is to give up! A girl in love doesn't know the meaning of the words give up. I managed to get this far for my love. I won't give up this easy. 
I'm sorry, but you don't have time to be in love anymore because you will die here. Interesting, why don't you try? Oh boy, here it goes. What the heck is on her back? Hey, Mary, you have anything to say about what's on her back? Oh, yeah. Oh, she actually went with one of her weaker attacks. Still hits like a bitch. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get that Rose Storm up. Thankfully, we're not at the part of the game where the game goes to just screw dragoons and one shots you if you dare enter into it. Rose Storm. Feel the power of the flowers. Good. Let's get Dark Transform too. I'm planning on having Meru heal everybody else up. Dark being transformed helps him out quite a bit since it, since it does up his magic defense. Probably not given how long of a boss fight the last boss is. And we can use Dark's ult. Well. Is my ultimate spell? Although, honestly, you should never cast the summon spells that the dragoons get at their last spell. Bam! And this does do extra damage, too, because Lennis is, of course, water type. Oh good, we did get another turn. Lemus can get ridiculously fast sometimes and almost seemingly take like three turns in a row. Seriously, why is she seemingly so slow today? It's only attacked once. Albert's done with his transformation now. Huh. Really? <laughs> Lettuce, what are you doing? You're usually not this nice. Oh, here it comes. Oh, okay. Usually, her favorite spell is the full party ice attack. Which, trust me, stings. And recall, that was with friggin' half damage. On frickin' Meru, who has the highest magic defense on the team. Now for another final burst. You mean where she gets that gigantic hammer? <laughs> that hammer is freaking ridiculous. Mary is one of the few people who can use Dragoon magic effectively. 
I guess the only other person I would say is Shauna, except she only gets one attack spell and it's only at 25% strength. It does hit all enemies, but still. Now we gotta get uh, Albert transformed so we can Rose Storm again. She is definitely one of the best party members in the game. I think her and Rose are the only characters that can really do a lot of damage both physically and magically. And oh god, really? I'm Meru again? What do you have against Meru? But then against better than against Albert. Did you imagine how much damage that would be doing to him? Better down to half health. Oh crap. Now she's starting to get her multi turns on. And that took out Mario. And then she gets a spell too! Why is she focusing on all the dark spells? Also Al for Albert. Yeah, uh, Hashel's Dragoon form really isn't that impressive. Uh, apparently Final Burst is only as powerful as Dart's uh, Dragoon Edition performed perfectly. Okay, Hashel got- I mean not Hashel, Albert got a turn. Let's use a speed up on him. I have a plan. Although Hashel's Dragoon form does get Kamehameha's crap. Well, so much for this plan. Yeah, we're kinda fucked! Holy crap, Albert survived. Okay, we got Mirror back up. Good! Okay, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Okay, good. Now Albert gets another attack. I think he'll survive next round. I'm trying to get him enough SP so that he can transform and Rose Storm us again. I oh, prefer that to anything else she does. Yay, Albert gets to live. I swear she gets faster the longer the battle goes on. So not dying here, Lennis. Rose Storm. Oh, 
Oh god. Actually, I wouldn't surprise me if that idea has been done. Alright, well, she's near death, so hopefully we can perform the last few hits in here to get her down. And also, notice how there's like weird, like, red slash lines going all over her whenever Dart attacks her? That means that his Heat Blade is taking effect on her. Still not dead yet. Oh boy, here comes the pain. Oh god. Thank you, Blossom Storm. I mean, Rose Storm, whatever. Got her! And Meru still doesn't have her second edition. Seriously! Why did they make it take so long for her to get a second edition? You're not bad, I guess! Give us the Moon Dagger. Don't waste your time on this meaningless battle. Garrich is already dead. Garrich, I didn't care about that man from the beginning. I told you I need the Moon Dagger for my love. Admit your defeat. There's no way to escape. No way to escape, huh? Hey, you over there. What do you think of that? Dot dot dot. Meru. Whatever. See for yourself. Is there no way to escape? I mean, didn't we see her flying around in the battle before? Bye now! Wait! Oh no, she is a Wingly? The species that dominated the bygone world. She's a survivor. People of magic who run across the sky with wings. Was she here to take back from humans? You are the King of Sergio Alb uh, King of Sergio Albert. Why did you take such a risk? It might be self gratification, however I would like to settle my friend's score with my own hands. We are pursuing a man who manipulated the war with Sergio from behind the scenes. My friend was killed by that man. At the same time the moon gem which belonged to Sergio was taken away. We have different reasons, however, we are all linked to that man, and here we are. You said the Moon Gem, it is the legacy of the Wingleys, isn't it? Could you please tell us about uh, the Moon Dagger, Your Majesty? It was off to the Dragon Campaign. Humans defeated the Wingleys and built Sergio, Teboroa, and Millisisu. They say the few surviving Wingleys sent a divine object to the Moon as a proof of peace to the three countries. That's all they know about the legend. We have that same legend in my country. What is the... Uh, what is dangerous is that we humans don't know what the Divine Moon objects are for. You mean the Wingleys know everything and form this entire conspiracy? Father, we have to take the Moon Dagger back. Before the stars that have beheld Tiberoa are lost in a shadow. It seems the girl got a uh, girl of the Wingleys got away to the Elisa Bay. Now it's time for an appearance by Commander Pooler. I will send the most powerful warship that Tiboroa has, the Queen Fury. Have Commander Pooler pursue her. Of course, you are more than welcome to be on the boat. I appreciate it, Your Majesty. It's the first time I've seen a Wingly, but they seem to be beyond our powers, so that we might need your help. Please take care of yourselves. We've got a wingly to hunt down. 
who will oddly be easier to beat the next time we see her. Like seriously, she isn't nearly as bad in her second fight than this one. As I recall, isn't there a treasure back here or something? No. I think it was just misremembering things. Oh no, there is. A moon serenade that I will probably never really use, and a sun rhapsody. Great, the MP recovery items. Yep, we're almost to the ghost ship. Which honestly is a pretty easy dungeon, I gotta say. Hey, out of our way. Although before we do go off and do all that, there is something we must go and acquire. Something that is oddly optional. And of course, we're gonna have plenty of random encounters along the way. Hey, I remember you guys. We're never threatening. Good lord, they only do single digit damage to Albert. So if you actually go to these signs on the map, you can actually go to the other uh, locations we were just at. I mean, in disc one, not just at. So I guess now we know how Sergio and Tibero are uh, joined. I just want Albert to finish up with Rod Typhoon so we can finally get to Guest of Dance. Do good old Lohan. Yeah, now that I think about it. <laughs> Four more uses of Crush Dance and it's mastered. Oh hey, he's got some of four gods. That's uh, Hashel's. No, but that's his SP generation edition. Seven more times and we're done with Raw Typhoon. Probably be done with Double Smack by now if I wasn't using her for item duty a lot. Hey, you walking over there. The guy who took the uh, bottle I tried to sell you for free. Hey, did we talk the other day? Come on, I've got great stuff. Why don't you take a look? Look at the stone. Just the right roundness and size. It's very elegant. A great bargain. How about a hundred gold? I can't believe it. Hey, you don't touch that. And that's how Kongle gets his uh, Dragoon Spirit. You, ran, you have to go back to Lilhan, randomly run into this, and then and, uh, you have to buy it off of the street vendor. Much talked about Shining Miracle Stone! And any illness or anxiety disappears instantly when the stone shines. A miracle, a mystery! I'm making a limited offer now for 1,000 gold, how about it? And Roves almost goes and kills a man to get it. It's business, that's life. And no, you can't really uh, ha 
haggle the price down. It's straight up 1,000 gold. Hey, can't you give me a discount? Then leave it! If you want it, get more money. See? Yeah, thank you! And we got the Golden Dragon Dragoon Spirit. Admittedly, it is for a character I'm not really going to be using, but still. So yeah, Kongo's Dragoon Spirit kind of sucks. I mean, yeah, it gives him double his magic and magic defense, but that's still not very much. I mean, doubling crap is still pretty crappy. And he only gets three spells on it, too. Although, why would you even be using magic, given, you know, he's kind of bad at magic. On top of that, his uh, Dragoon Edition is even shorter than everybody else's. It only, the, you only have to circle the thing four times. Oh, if only it was that easy, Pollard. Let's actually pick up a few of these. The Goshen Magmas are actually really, really, really useful for the boss fight of the... the... Ghost Ship. It has one of those wonderful gimmicks where you gotta kill all of them at the same time or they just revive. Back to Tiburoa. And now back through the desert again to get to Danau. It's kind of funny that you can't intimidate him into getting a better deal on it with Kongol. My friend Kongol here would really like your stone. Don't you think it'd be a good idea to let him have what he wants? For your own safety. Simple enough, and only three more uses for Dart before he masters Crush Dance. After that, I'll probably only be having Dark Guard while Meru and uh, Albert practice additions, at least in random encounters. You saying that reminds me of that stupid alone in the dark game. I don't have your stone and fuck you anyway! Good lord, that game sucked. Oh hey! Albert got Dragoon level 3. Nice. Now he can cast uh, Rose Storm three times. Now, how quickly can we get through the desert? Well, we got through the first screen without a random encounter and only in the yellow. Can we make it all the way? Probably not.
I wish. That's coming out alongside Half-Life 3, I hear. Oh, what am I doing? Should have, uh... Arch still attacking the Master Crush Dance, since he's so close. Well, then again, so is Albert. Well, at least Meru will be ready to jump on her next edition when she levels up. Uh, well, I think maybe on her next level she gets her Dragoon, but either way, she won't have to worry about that since she's almost done with her first one. And we aren't really sticking around here long. We just need to head to the docks. Well, it's certainly a big ironclad ship. Uncle is excited. It's bigger than me. So this is the Queen Fury. You must be Dart! Yes, I am, and you? My name is Kayla. I'm a crew member on the Queen Fury. I'm getting the Commodore now. Commodore! Commodore Pooler! Dart and his friends are here. What? Kayla, be quiet. Man of the sea should have a big heart. What does that have to do with what she said? Sometimes you listen to the waves and cast your dreams to the ocean. That is a man's romance! Commodore, Dart and his friends are here. You got orders from the king, didn't you, sir? Oh, you are the brave young people who routed the bandits. You deserve to be guests on my ship, the Queen Fury. Thank you, but we don't want to be treated as guests. We had the same objective, to pursue Lennis. Mm, I like that. You're ready to go, sir. I see. Now the only thing left is for you to board. As soon as you are ready, we will hit the ocean. Uh, I swear, uh, Pooler and the... Uh, the commander of the Thames and Xenogears... Those two would get along really, really well. We've been waiting for you. Ready to go? Yes, we are ready. Now let's set sail. Looks like we're almost there, then all of a sudden we have to stop. It's character development time. Ah, oh, welcome to the Queen Fury. I actually like this little section. The background music really helps it too. It's a nice quiet song since, well, it's uh, the team actually having some downtime and not constantly ch uh, chasing off the after someone. And apparently Sean is having fun with the birds. Many things have happened. I was put in jail and Dark came to rescue me. We were with Lavitz, now we are here pursuing Lloyd. There's so many things I don't understand. The moon that never sets, the voices of Mirage. I wish I could fly like you guys. That doesn't take me anywhere. That will laugh at me. Alright, I wonder where he went. And as a rarity, we can actually play as other people! Oh, as I recall down here... Oh, there it is. Stardust! Anyway, most of this section is just our characters talking with each other, basically. Like, we'll have uh, Shauna go off to... Oops. Oh, get out of the way. I could have sworn there's a... Yep. Stardust. 
Anyway, like Shauna is off to find Dart, Dart's off to find someone else, and it continues on and on until we get through everybody, basically. As they all bring up their own concerns to each other and stuff like that. Here you are, Dart! Hi, Dart! Dart? When humans go to sea, there's a lot to think about. Friendship, love, life, and romance! Because we are men of the sea! Probably Dart's heart is wandering in the Mother Ocean. Such a scary face. He must be thinking about the Black Monster. Oh, Sean, is something wrong? I've been thinking, too, about the past and future. About you and me. You and me? Eventually our journey will end. Yes, eventually, but I wonder where we will be. I want to be next to you, Dart. But nobody knows about the future. Love and sailing are alike. If you don't swim against the waves and just enjoy it, you will overcome it. Thinking alone is sometimes good, but sometimes when you listen to others, your way will open up. Oh god, that would suck. Outside of their unique fights in, uh... Ah, dang it. In, uh, the moon that never sets when you go there. Maybe Rose might know something about it. But then again, all those fights are basically unlosable. Of course we know where Rose is. We saw her up here at the very start. Oh, okay, I'm stuck. There we go. Here you are. May I help you? It's about the Black Monster. I thought you might know something about it, Rose. That's right, you were traveling just for that. Unfortunately, I have nothing to tell you. Oh. What are you going to do when you catch the Black Monster? What are you going to do with him? Kill him to avenge your parents? That'll satisfy your feelings? Revenge does not generate anything. That's why I learned from Lavitz. To tell you the truth, I don't know what I am going to do or even what I want to do when I face the Black Monster. I just want to know what he is. I see. Well, I can tell you one thing. Do you know what the source of the power of Dragoons? War is not in human nature. Humans fight by making themselves enter insanity. It is the same for revenge. This is a tool to amplify the insanity, and this insanity is the power of Dragoons, the Dragon Knight. I didn't know that. Someday something will happen if you cannot chasten your insanity. I wonder if you will be able to endure it given the size of your spirit. Man, I think Dart just got dissed there. Sorry, it was just nonsense. It's okay, when I finish with Lloyd, I'll go on my journey to pursue the Black Monster. When I face him, I'll find my own answer to that. And off Dark goes, leaving us with Rose. It is once it decides that Dart is sufficiently far enough away. Mine is not a journey. I'll take a walk for a change. Now, if only you actually had the opportunity to swap Dart out for someone else. Lord knows swapping out Dart for Rose would be awesome. I'm pretty sure the team of her, Albert, and Meru would be team uh, mess your shit up. Oh, we found hers already. Are you thinking about something? Oh, Rose, do you want to talk about your love? I was just walking around and happened to be here. Can I ask you one thing? Sure. You, why are you with us? 
I heard that in the beginning it was Dart's Dragoon Spirit. It seems that's not all. I guess... Maybe this journey is just a little break for me. Break? Hmm, well, everybody has different objectives on this journey. Oh god. <laughs> but you, you look like you're rushing yourself to death with your life being run by something. It's none of your business. I guess I was involved too much. I cannot make judgments about other people. So let's see here, in that group, I would guess that Rose would be Pain, Meru would be Riku, and Shauna would be Yuna. Ashel's home village 25 years ago. There, your steps during the attack are slow. Take more precise, faster steps. Yes, father. You idiot, during the training, don't think of me as your father. Call me master. I am sorry, master. Bow to your sensei. Claire, you, my daughter, were the only heir to the ancestral Rouge School of Martial Art. There, you cannot take over the Rouge skill, uh, School with such pathetic skills. You implanted a murderous intention in your fist, didn't you? Ah, dang it. Legend of Dragoon 2 is Final Fantasy X, what? Oh, Lada, what's wrong? Lada, what's wrong? Oh, Lada! Get out of my sight! Well, smooth move there, Hashel. I think we see why she ran away. I shouted out of anger. I was just running away from the pain that we have to overcome together as a master and as a father. It's been 20 years since I left the village pursuing Claire, but what I have found was only my immaturity. As Sam goes by, I forget the objectives of my journey. But Dart and the others gave me a new one. I think what I'm going to through now is a journey to support the passion of young Dart and his friends. Oops, oops, I become too mushy. Well, maybe I'll go teach Kongol. I hope he's not knocked out with seasickness. And we know where Kongol is, he's in the, the coal room. Oh yeah, I almost forgot there's a kind of mini game we can play on this ship too. What are you doing alone? Congo always alone. You are not now. Friends, I still don't know. Congo is here to see if you become leader instead of Emperor Dole. Wait, who are you specifically referring to as that? Because I kind of doubt Hashel is going to. It was your objective for the journey, wasn't it? Then why don't you talk to Albert? He might know something about Dole's story from the past. King of Human. I recall Albert is in here. Yep, there he is. Human King Albert. Hongo wants talk. What's his friends? Dart said Kongo friend. Kongo don't know what is friend. My Uncle Dole was your friend, wasn't he? No, I fight for Emperor Dole to make a world where all species equal. 
Maybe we can put it this way. Maybe friends are the people who walk the same road. People who walk together, but not led by somebody who share happiness and pain. Not his friends? Yes, that is us now. Although we have different objectives, we are walking side by side. Mongol, you are already walking on the same road as us. And Kongul just walks off. Boring! Anybody want to hang out with me? It's thanks to those girls I can continue to walk on this road. Now I'm going to socialize with my friends too, although that statement's kind of weird for Albert. He's not exactly the womanizer type, so I'm not entirely certain what he means by that. You are having fun as always. And she pegs him with a pillow. Gotcha, big success! It's an awful welcome. Hey Al, you're a bit too squarish. You gotta become cool like Dart. Are you mad now? You mad, bro? No, but I have a question. Wow, the ex exciting question time. Mary, when you joined us, you said there's still something I can help with. Is that true? Um, let me see. I do know why, but I really feel that way it's true. But I do know what it is. You're not just kidding, it seems. Our journey is a dangerous one. We will not be able to succeed if we take a lackadaisical attitude towards it. Therefore, I want to make sure one more time. I don't want to see anybody else dying. Now, please excuse me. Except, uh, Lloyd is a lot cooler than Seymour. Whatever, the game has become too serious. Now is my big chance to hang out with Dart. Also, where does Lavitz fit into that comparison there? And yeah, this is where the minigame is. Say, how about having a Julian vegetable match with me? I'll do it, I'll do it, I totally awesome at everything! Oh, you wanna play with me? The Vegetable Julian contest is my passion, it's my life, it's my work! Please wait while I get ready. Ready? So basically, it's a butt mashing game. Each of the different items has a different amount of cuts it takes to actually I'll cut through it. And apparently the game does not like me since it gave me the hardest one several times in a row. Seriously. Oh, come on. And it's giving the other guy a lot of the really easy ones. You can see how many times I actually have had to cut to equal his pieces. Seriously. Okay, I finally got ahead of him. Holy crap. So yeah, we were almost equal, but I had to cut 245 times more, well, like more like 110-ish more than him. Habits is jacked. Oh wait, doesn't that mean he's the final boss? Oh, it's a record for chopping. It's a record for the number of vegetables. And that's it. And we got one gold for playing. <laughs> well, let's get to grinding so we can get that 10k gold through this. Master strats, right? Actually, hold on a second. I need to go grab something for my dinner here. Just had an idea for it. BRB.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. And oh, thank you for that follow there, Fear the Grisnum. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the Bahamic Clan. And sorry about that. I went off and got some uh, hot sauce for my chicken so I can, well, kind of have some kind of buffalo chicken kind of thing going on here. A dark spotted. Thinking about something? I know. Who do you think it is? Oh my gosh, we can make. <laughs> I doubt it, but. Kongle? Yes, Kongle don't speak with forked tongue. I don't think so. I knew it was you, Meru. Uh, great news for someone who looks totally bored. Why don't you come with me on an adventure on this ship? I've already seen a lot. Hey, you were thinking about Shauna, weren't you? If she sees you walking with a pretty girl like me, she would get mad, wouldn't she? Shauna doesn't get mad about those things. What's with this adventure suddenly? No, oh, there is something bothering me. Don't you think Rose is strange? She is strange, but I don't think she's as strange as you. I'm not talking about that strange. I think she has something that she hasn't told us, or she has, she has been involved in something shady, or... Have you told us everything about you, Meru? I'm the exception! Don't talk bad about your friends. Everybody has something that they need to hide. Sorry, I don't mean to talk bad about Rose, but she's cold to me, so somehow... Then you want to change the pace with an adventure. That's my dart, you're totally cool! Come on now, departing on Meru's expedition! Meru's expedition, huh? And for our final stop on this um, run around, I guess, is Rose. Don't play a prank on her. She doesn't understand jokes. I won't. Rose has a mysterious personality. She is always cold, but when it comes to a critical point, she leaves us in a variety of ways. We are alive now because of Rose. I agree. Although you haven't seen her do that much stuff, Meru. Uh oh, it's a g g g g g g g ghost. Spooky. How the hell did that skull end up there? Coming right for us! Welcome back, Blazing. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. What on earth is this? I can't believe this. 
What are you doing? Go back to your stations and check on the damages. <coughs> There's a heraldry. It looks like your royal ship of Millie Sasso. Is this like a phantom ship? Oh boy. Commodore, bad news! He got the engine room! Kayla, don't let them hurry to fix it. Hey, hey sir! You gotta pursue Glennis like this. Damn. <coughs> Damn, my tongue's burning. Sometimes the ocean waves it uh, shows it's capriciously. Wait. Sometimes the ocean shows it capriciously, but I have never seen such a thing. Wait for a while, there's nothing we can do. This ship is... Dart, I can't find Shauna anywhere! Oh, of course she's on the ship. Ah, oh, man, I love spicy stuff. If your tongue ain't burning, it ain't good. Where am I? Well, hi there. Then the ghost of Shauna. Why did you come here? I don't know. When I woke up, I was in here. But those knights protect me. They are gone, though. At least you are safe and sound. Come on, come on! We're here already, so let's just take some tour here. No way! I want to go too. I don't know why, but I want to know about the ship. Oh, please! Oh, thank you for that follow as well, Blazing. Welcome to the Bahamic Clan as well. We'll go with the... <coughs> we'll go with them, then it won't be a problem. Okay, but if anything happens, we gotta go back. Of course, we the engines won't be fixed until we get done with this place. I mean, isn't that how it works? Uh, welcome to the ghost ship. It kind of works like Helena did. If we touch any of these little floating balls, we get an encounter. Yeah, I told you there'd be spooky, scary skeletons. And of course, Will of the Wisps is, I think, the floating guys. Yep, I was right. Oh, come on. Really? I swear that missing is like a really rare occurrence in, occurrence in this game. Yeah, Dart's just gonna regenerate that on his next turn, too. Man, that wasn't enough to kill it. One more crush dance and Dart's done. Holy crap, Albert. We'll beat the crap out of you, man. Yeah, 
Ah, dang it, my food is making my nose run. But it was but the price we have to pay for spicy. Yeah, if we go back here... Oh, there it is. We can actually go back to the ship. And if we go over here, it's a free in. And down here... Is a very easily missable shop. Oh hell yeah, finally Elber gets a new weapon. Seriously, it's been how long since Albert got a re new weapon? I think back the the glaive, not the glaive, the spear we got back in uh, Asil was the last weapon we got for him. I forgot Dancing Ray was viable here. Holy crap! <coughs> the boss fight at the end of this uh, area is darkness space, as I recall. All right, Kiba. Oh yeah, there's also a bit of a small, almost side quest here. In this room. Hey, Kiba. Hey, Kiba, speak! <laughs> Good boy. The evil come to the person who attempts to open the treasure chest. So yeah, this is, um... Uh, I guess the, the game for this is called Mastermind, where you have to guess the password based on... Well, a combination that we can get. And then just... Well, well, actually, we just get like four numbers, and then we're uh, given a certain amount of tries to just punch it in and see if we can get it right. And you can repeat it over and over again. And if you do get a, well, and with each time you have fewer and fewer chances. The very last time you have one shot of doing it, and if you get it right, you get the Phantom Shield, which is that uber accessory that costs ten grand in gold. That is. Uh, that reduces all damage by half. Although it's not impossible to do it since you have to do it all in one. And you can't save and try to save scum it like that either. As it will just go noop and just like randomize the password again. In fact, I think it makes you start over from the beginning if you do that too. Man, they aren't a fan of dart, are they? Hopefully, the um, killing the boss of this dungeon will actually get us friggin' uh, Mary Second Edition. I mean, everybody else has at least two, if not three, and I think Dart's done, so just guarding with him. I mean, hell, Albert uh, is almost on his last one. So let's check real quick, and yep, Dart is done! So yeah, Crush Dance it gives 100 SP and has 250% damage on its multiplier. Though it's definitely an upgrade for everything else we got. Oh, we just finished Raw Typhoon, holy crap! Well, it's on the Gust of Wind Dance then. And Meru needs six more for her double smack. Then I guess it'll just be the Albert show. I guess there was one just hiding behind that post there. Thank you, the... Oh, whoops. Dang it, I thought I was targeting death there. Not that it matters since I missed. Well, that actually did some decent damage. Oh, dang it. Well, 
Damn. To think that uh, Albert could have been doing that kind of stuff. Well, for as long as I've had Albert. <laughs> well, before he was Albert, we could have been doing that kind of damn shit. Oops. I you meant to have Dark Guard. Oops. Oh. Well, Death is dead. We just gotta keep using Gust of Wind Dance until Albert finally learns his ultimate attack. Cause this too is totally the plan the time they planned on having you well, well you get that. Captain, please open here! Where are you, Captain? Okay, ghosty dude. And if you time it right, you can get through this, but eh, effort. Well, I guess Death decided to take a holiday. on the worst guy too. Ow. Hi. It took me so long to figure out the timing for Gust of Wind Dance, too. I guess with looking back on it, I'm not entirely certain why it took me so long to figure it out, but eh, it is what it is. Oh, stop going after Mario, dang it. Dang it, I was hoping he was gonna go for Dart again. Now the question is, is Meru, Meru down too? And whoops. And it killed it, dang it. Let's toss the healing potion Mary's way so we don't have to waste time on guarding her health up. Oh, she needs one more and she's done. And apparently we're right on top of one of them. Are you f trying to find crumbs under my desk, Kiva? My dog is silly. And with that, Miru's mastered all of her additions. Well, I guess for this dungeon, we're just going to be attacking with Albert and only Albert. <laughs> Nothing down there for you, man. Oh, whatever. I 
guess this does kind of slow down battles a bit, given the fact that half, well, two thirds of my team are actually just girding the entire time. But hey, that's what it takes to get ultimate power, then why not do it? And I messed up, dang it. Oh, please, not on. Okay, it wasn't on Albert. Well, that is hitting her weakness, it actually doesn't do as much damage as if it hit, uh, Albert. Because Albert's, uh, friggin' magic resist is in the toilet. Oh yeah, I do that, uh, dart all day, I don't care. He regenerates that faster than you can deal damage to him with that. I swear, with the finishing attack he has with his Gust of Wind Dance, I kind of, uh, wouldn't be surprised if he could uh, hang out with, like, Kane from Final Fantasy IV or any of the other Dragoon characters. <laughs> this Captain's Cabin. Seems like it's not opening. Oh yeah, we gotta go and find the key to get in there. Help me, the bastard, the bastard is... I don't want to die, help! What? We cannot make it, we'll be killed by him! I don't want to die, help! What are they talking about? The way they died? Well, I guess we can continue following the creepy top hat ghost. Oh, great, death is back. Well, at least he can do some decent damage with his normal attack. And these things don't like Meru, do they? Seriously, they're all going after her. And why are they double turning friggin' Meru? The big thing is being ridiculously fast. Well, that and her magic. And her final addition. Never mind. And he missed. Dang it. Whoops. And dead. Quick, into the side room! Well, it's not that I finally got a oh, Gust of Wind's Dance, it's that I finally got two Gust of Wind's Dance. <laughs> not the spooky, scary skeletons!
And the first attack goes right for Mario. <laughs> and for Albert to go to work. How many uses we've already gotten with it? I mean, I have been using it fairly consistently. is finally almost back up to full health. And down they go. Not really, Dart. That wasn't even close at all. And we're at 15. We almost got to level 2. I think the damage percentage on Gust of Wind Dance actually caps out at like 300 some odd. Which makes it pretty good. I think Meru has had enough balls to the face. Same with bones. Nobody likes having a bone just shoved in their face like that. No, I haven't gotten Meru's second edition yet, which is why she's just guarding. She's already mastered her first one. Come on, Albert, I gave you the freaking uh, bandit ring. You should be faster than this. Yeah, that or Will of the Wisps are really just ridiculously fast. Could be either, I guess. Hey, K2 Karama, been a while since we saw you around here. What are you doing, man? I think in the next fight we can actually get get uh get a wind dance to level two. And there it is again, the little, little troll bastard. Oh, it's actually attacking us this time!
Magician Bogey is his name, huh? I, re I recall he actually does have some fairly nasty status ailments he can nail you with. So I think I'll just have everybody kill him. And then, well, Al uh, Albert can take out the skeletons and... Dang it, did I really just mess that up? Well, even if you have been busy, K2Chroma, we're always happy to have you around. Man, this guy has some health to him, doesn't he? Apparently, Meru thinks it's nap time. And nap time's over. Oh, die already. And that's the real- oh god. Dart's been charmed. I think if we kill him off, the charm breaks since- well, dang it! Oh well, he still died. And I was right. Apparently I am the only one who plays this the pure way. Mashing the ever-loving crap out of my thumb. I guess I should Tosh. Uh, Albert a potion. Again to save time. This dungeon really isn't that bad. Then goes with the boss fight if you already know it's gimmick and prepared ahead of time like I have. Oh, wait. Eh, Dark can toss it. What was your favorite group to use, Kay? There we And it runs away again. And the damage for Gust of Wind Dance has already gone from 200 to 240%. Yeah, the SP never really goes up, but who cares when you do that kind of damage. I swear, it's always so hard to tell exactly where the floating ghosts are to avoid encounters in this area. Zero. Three. Five. Eight. And this is the code for the chest in the in the very front room that you have to guess the password for. Is he trying to say something? He cornered it! And it's only there's three of them. Oh god! Yeah, that is definitely a very nice thing they did for the PS3. Too bad they didn't include PS2 backwards compatibility as well. But oh well. Very nice damage. And to speed this up a little bit. Let's just toss out a dancing ray. We can go buy another one back on the ship.
The deadly spotlight attacks! There we go, that will speed up the fight a bit. Oh, and thank you for that follow there, Tim Two Trucks. Welcome to the Bahama Clan! And apparently I should have streamed uh, Legend of Dragoon a while ago. Everybody loves watching this game, apparently. Very nice. Just please do not charm, uh, charm Albert. That always hurts. Yes, thank you, Stream Jar. We re realize that. <laughs> Dang it! I almost got it that time. Of course. Damn it, Albert. Now Meru and Dart have to finish this fight. Nothing like a double turn double smack. This brings back memories for us old farts. <laughs> ah yes, the memories of the good old 90s. And everything's dead. I have a favor to ask you. Please come to the captain's cabin. Alrighty then. We're actually almost done with this. Oh, I threw that set and I can't really... Yep. You can't really tell if I was under running into that one. Ah, oh, yay, more Will of the Wisps. I swear every encounter down here has these guys in it. Outside of that one three skeleton fight. Got that one, dang it! It's always annoying when you start missing with an addition you've just done so many times in the past. It's like, wait, what? Fingers, why'd you fail me? Have I ever seen a real what exactly? I'm not entirely what you're referring to with a real one there, man. Man, the skills are so good. Just keep on throwing bones in people's faces. I guess. Thumb, you fail me! They've just been jamming on it too hard for doing the, <laughs> the well, the button jamming items. Oh, come on! Oh, no, I have not seen a real Will of the Wisp. But then again, I don't exactly hang out in swamps very often. Just gotta get through this hallway. And the door's open now.
Big shocker. <laughs> I mean, what other encounter would it be except for with death in the middle? Duali doesn't use an instant death attack. Uh. Although at least we aren't missing like crazy against these. Oh, come on! Seriously! I've done it like 20 times perfectly and now all of a sudden I'm totally screwing up. That's cool. There we go. Oh, dang it. Where these enemies exist to annoy me. Okay. Come on, fingers. There we go. Okay, pick him back. Ran through them while they were still teleporting in. Oh, yeah. Wow, a portrait of a beautiful woman. It seems like the queen of some country. It closed by itself. For no real reason, because outside of being kind of spooky, because it'll open the second the scene ends. Please help me. Why does he have a chair? Is that a ghost chair? Did the soul of a chair that the black monster destroyed but forever decided to haunt that guy's ass. He killed the crew, nanny, knights, me, and the newborn princess. Him, the black monster. What? This was done by the black monster too? We couldn't protect the princess so we couldn't finish dying. Please destroy the fear. Please send the soul of the knights to rest. Arg! It's impossible to fully die. Kills people for no reason. Rose, why are you ellipsing? Hmm. Then we got the key of the Phantom Ship and three hundred bucks. The portrait reminds me of someone. Hmm. Oh hey, Death finally decided to show up again. And dead. Albert's in the yellow again, but, well, the boss fight is actually back near the start of the ship, so there's no reason not to just hop into the friggin' uh, other boat and to, well, rest up and get full health again. Nailed it. And... Got it.
Oh, not that white art. Hey, the spooky ghosts! Uh oh, another cutscene. We will give you Princess Luvia! And these ghosts really suck at their job. We'll protect her even if it costs our lives! After counting 108 years, when the moon that never sets glows red, a moon child descends upon the earth to fill the world with holy bliss. However, what was actually brought was the child's destruction, the black monster. Yes, we know, we heard Fester talk about it before. We are witnessing a tragedy from the past. It's awful, why did it have to do this? Black monster, how much does he have to kill them before he satisfies himself? Stop it! Sorry, what was I thinking? Let's move on. We're done with the blatant foreshadowing. You want to know, don't you? Now to rest up. Alright, I think we're good. Hey, Gipper Fox! Yes, I know I still need Meru's second edition. I'm really wishing she would get her second edition already. The lock is open! How are you been, Cooper Fox? Been a while since we saw you around here. A bravery amulet. Protects against fear. Black monster? How dare you come here pursuing Princess Luvia? But as long as we are here with her, we are not going to give her up! We are not the black monster, we are. How dare you, black monster, using human words to fool us! Ah, Zelda. Unforgivable, even if it costs my life, I won't give up our Princess Luvia! Alright, this wonderful boss fight. Oops. Basically, the... F Four of them are just really weak knights, while the guy in the back is the strong one. But you gotta try and kill them all at basically the same time, or else we'll start reviving each other, including the guy in the back. At least that's how I remember it. And with that, we already took out all the minions. So anytime they get up, we can just use one of those to knock them all down. Okay then. I think he just haunted Dart? Yeah. I think that just did half of his HP and damage. Damn, 200%. Holy crap, Meru! Apparently I did not need nearly as many of the <laughs> items as I thought I would. Oh, and we just got the ultimate... There we go, Hammerspin, finally. The ultimate uh, shadow attack item.
Princess! Princess! Shauna, it's over! There's no more Black Monster! Oh, please, please suffer no more! You, you are... I? Thank God you made it, Princess Luvia! The plot thickens! Is there still something that I don't know about? Of course the door is now open. Oh hey! Rose got her uh, third edition. So we could actually be working on Matt getting her final one by this point too. Yay, hammer spin! Alright, a dancing dagger. As I recall, that's for Rose. Yeah, it's not darts. And I was right for Rose. Princess Luvia! You're still young. If she wasn't a princess of minutes or so, this wouldn't have happened. Princess of Millie so? Oh my, you are... Alive! Oh lord, it was not in vain. I've been wandering for 18 years and longing for you. We need to file a restraining order, Nanny. I can now end everything. I can go to the place where everyone is. Wait, what kind of relationship do I have to this person? Uh-oh. Ship is sinking! Abandon go ship! Abandon go ship! Everything is fixed and under control in the engine room now, sir! Now, let's relax and wait for Dart and the others to come back. Everyone, hurry up! Apparently enough, Shauna is actually the first one to get across it. Kongle, you are not supposed to disappear into Shauna. That just don't look right. Hey, Rose, quick, hurry! I don't know why Dart is taking forever. Let's go, we are the last ones! Oh, damn it, Dart. Rose, let go, you gotta live! This is the same as back then. No, I won't let go, I will never let it happen again. Rose? You're showing emotions! That's kind of out of character for you. Dirt, Rose, get back here! And they fall into the ocean. Well. And apparently they washed up it by some cave or something. And of course Rose won't puss out and be knocked unconscious by something like that. Dart and Zeke, they look so much alike. Not only are they dragoons, recognized by the red-eyed dragon, but there's something else, something that attracts me. Ooh la la! After 11,000 years of time, I now feel the strength and tenderness of Dart. And even his frailty, these tame the insanity of the Dragoon for me. See, if my hands could grab him, I wouldn't have had this bitterness. Oh wait, I think I remember this um, FMV. It's a pretty cool one. Time to see the old school Dragoons kicking ass. Well, and getting their asses kicked. Not bad. I'm 
taking you with me. You know, usually you say I'm taking you with me when, well, you've actually been wounded to the point where you're going to die and want to kill someone as you die. Not just a straight out suicide attack. And... Oh my. Oh, that dragon just ripped that barrage in half. That's a lot of virages, that's for sure. Got a little bit of voice acting here. <laughs> But I don't think Mobile From has actually been brought up in the plot yet. Oh, that dude's got a finger through him. And there goes Shirley. Okay, hey, that ghost lady from, well, when we got the white dragoon spirit. Revel to your very core in my eternal curse. Oh, Let go. Save yourself. You're kind of stone, dude. How are you talking? I saw Zeeg in Dart. But Dart is Dart, he is not Zeeg. No, he is not Zeeg. Pooch, what's wrong? They named their dog Pooch. Oh my god, there's somebody here! Oh, this is a interesting looking village. I think whoever's in that slanted house might want to consider moving the, well, either themselves or the house a bit. Ooh, you like him, don't you? I was surprised no one would think there are people there. You're safe thanks to you, Pete. You have to thank Pooch too. By the way, are you in love with each other? Because you two are traveling alone. Do you think so? I think so, don't they look it? Yes, you make a good couple. Don't be silly. We were just looking for our friends, actually. There are seven of us. Okay, but you don't need to be shy. Cough, cough, cough. Are you sick? It's nothing. 
Actually, we should have been to uh, should have been to the clinic in the neighboring. That I don't know. Something about that sentence seems off to me. Neighboring town? It's Fueno. There is a port there, and they have a boat to do now. You know what? The Queen Fury might have dropped by. But why don't you take your mother to Fueno? Because there is a monster on the way to the undersea cavern. I know we rarely have guests, but we have to let them go, Pete. Mr. Dart, I hope you can meet your friend soon. I hope so, too. Say hi to everybody, okay? Apparently we have a nice convenient boat we can move around on. There we go, we don't need to go to the ocean terrace. That's where all those guys are playing cards over there. We will have to be back here to talk to them, but not yet. As I recall... Go down here... We can find ourselves a stardust. Bam. What are we up to? 33, I think? Free healing potion, I guess. Dart! Wait, how did you get out of your house with the boat on this side, dude? Plot holes! <sighs> What's wrong? Would you please take us to Fueno? I'm afraid of the monster, but we gotta go before it's too late. It's about your mother, is no Of course it's about his mother. What else would it be about? I want her to be in the hospital. You got it, we'll take you there. I can annihilate the monsters for you. Did I say something wrong? Thank you, I'll bring my ma. What are you looking at? Nothing. Rose is being nice. Oh God, we're all gonna die, aren't we? Oh yeah, now that I think about it. Edition, Rose, Ardblade. Which is kind of like Raw Typhoon for uh, Albert. And that it has pretty good damage and also pretty good SP generation. So yeah, it's a pretty good one. I'm saying pretty too many times, aren't I? Since the monster appeared, the water has never ebbed, but it's okay because Funo is not this way. It is where the water dragon's hanging out, though. Right as I get to friggin' Fueno! Right as I step on it! Just guarding so we can let I uh, attempt to do roses edition. There we Hard blade. Hard blade. Now yeah, Dart just tears through everything in this area. But they also kinda tear through him because he has the heat blade. 
So all of his attacks do a lot more damage because, well, they're hitting weaknesses. Made it to Fueno. Seems like a nice town. Here we are at Fueno! Thank you, Dart and Rose! You have to get better soon and make Pete happy. I hope you find your friend soon! But are you actually in love with each other? Because in that cave, you. You are a good boy and didn't see anything, okay? Okay, I didn't see it, baby. <laughs> it's nothing, we are going. <laughs> Leave the scary lady in black. <laughs> Rose, you gotta confess to him. <laughs> Kids, I'm gonna murder that kid. What are you looking at? Anyway, over here is the dock. And obviously we can see the Queen Furies here. Well, in that storm, even for the powerful Dart and Rose! You, you are! Mr. Dart, Miss Rose! Kayla, I had you worried. Thank God, both of you are safe! That was nothing. Oh, did you see Miss Shauna? Please go see her, hurry! She hasn't spoken even a word since you disappeared. Is she on the boat? Everyone is in the city now! Home Alone 2 reference. <laughs> And suddenly, Mario. Ouch, don't you have eyes? Oh, Dart, right, Rose! I knew it, you guys are alive. <laughs> Look at her happily dancing around. Did you see Shauna? Bad boy, come with me quickly. Naughty, naughty Dart. We're in the hotel, come quick. She said the hotel. Uh, nobody's hanging around. You think that at least Hashel or Kongo would be getting sloshed at this point? Meru, where is she? Who am I? Oh god, we've been flashbanged. And suddenly everybody appears? We're secretly leading a troop of ninjas, aren't we? You guys are slow pokes. Welcome back. We were tired of waiting for you. You die, impossible. Everybody! Hurry, go see Shauna already. She is in the back room upstairs. Let's leave them alone. Oh, she has changed somehow. I agree, indeed, I got that impression that she has calmed down. In any event, it's a good thing. So, I think it's this room? Apparently my Shauna senses were tingling correctly. Shauna! Dart? Oh, Dart! Aw, uh, they had their whole... I think this is supposed to be Shauna's theme. 
That's basically the whole love thing that always plays over their stuff. I made you worried. Are you crying? It was nothing. Oh wait, who was... I'm so happy that I'm crying, so... Please don't say anything. I'm happy just like this. Piggy is not a ladylike thing to do! I thought you wanted to leave them... Oh wait, that's Albert. Thought you wanted to leave them alone, didn't you? It's okay for me, I gotta learn about love and romance. You guys go back or we're gonna get caught. Kids. <laughs> well... <laughs> Please excuse us! Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, it's typical of Meru. <laughs> Finally, you smiled. True, it's been a while. And the music kicks in again. And fades to black. So, okay, there we go. And this and that, we finally made it to Fueno. Not only that, you two are safe and sound. It's just a miracle that the seven of us can meet again. We have to offer our thanks to the Tiburo and God. I thought they worshipped the sun and the stars. We gotta return the favor to the God by taking the Moon Dagger back. We have to catch Lennis then. Can I ask you a question, please? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal like that? You guys were alone in the cave, weren't you? Did you guys get <laughs> put yourselves into a, a romantic situation? Meru, don't be silly even though you are trying to learn about love. It's too rude. Okay... So, Dart, did you cuddle with Rose? <laughs> oh, Hashel. <laughs> sorry, sorry, it slipped out. What do you mean, slipped? I think it rushed out full force. Don't worry, Shauna, Dart was concerned about you the whole time. Anyway, about Lennis. We should go out and ask about her in the city. We may find out something. I, I agree! And get us off this wonderful subject. Ew, get out, Shauna. We're not using you. Oh, wait, actually. I think there's uh, some Stardust in here. You gotta remember there's something being in this thing under the stairs. And I was wrong, apparently. Dang it. Oh well. Wait, what the hell? The guide says that there is a Stardust where I was searching a second ago. What the heck? There's also another one in the hospital here. I never heard of a painter of this painting, but I have seen this somewhere. Da -da -da -da. I don't know why the hospitals are really a thing in this game. I mean, honestly, why do they need a whole separate facility for healing, uh, well, status ailments? Oh, there it is. Okay. And now we've gotten all of the Stardust in Disc 2, and we're sitting at 35. At least we should be. We're at 35, right? Yes, we are. Okay, I didn't miss any. Rippy, you don't believe me either. I really saw it. I saw a dragon on the prison island. Dragon on the prison island? You don't know that. My ship was smashed by the sea dragon, rumored to live over the undersea cavern. I gotta have a drink or something. But you cannot go there anymore. There are lots of monsters there. My house was taken by those monsters. I gotta have a drink. It was half a year ago and, and he's down and he's doing the worm? It was a half a year ago that the monster showed up. It's all the monster's fault that I'm like this now. Get my ship and house back. Well, that's one hell of a way to sleep there. Half a year ago is the same time that Lennis joined the gang. Okay, let's go to the prison island. And he's up again. And in the prison island. Uh, 
Alright, what you got to sell here? The usual healing items. Both burnouts and gushing magmas? Holy crap. Okay, we can get rid of some of the Sun Rhapsodies. We don't need them. I mean, you guys have seen how much magic I've been using throughout this game, right? Hmm. Don't need that. I guess we can ditch the Dancing Rays now. And replace them with some Burnouts. Because we gotta go and fight Lennis again, so, I mean, yeah. Also love this shop. It's ran by the same person, and when they notice you coming up here, they just suddenly uh, go, Oh god, I gotta run! Oh, hey, new weapon for Dart. But we don't want to equip it just yet. Since, well, the Heat Blade does, you know, fire damage, and guess what everyone around here is weak to? Hmm, slightly weaker their magic defense for a lot more uh, defense. Good lord, look at the magic defense on this armor. That's right. And magically attacked SP is accumulated. How nice. That really does bump up the magic defense. Alright. Now we gotta sell all of our excess equipment. I gotta get rid of the bracelet. Oh god. Why does everything have to be so poorly sorted? We're gonna save um, save that for later. So you got both of the Stardust, so I guess we're out of here. Really? The random counter is set to just go off right as you get there, isn't it? Oh great, it's a weird tentacle eyeball thing. Mary, why are you always falling over with your attacks? I thought you were supposed to be agile and stuff. Damn it, Albert! <laughs> And get Meru. There we go. And Albert's damage just keeps on climbing higher and higher. I was about to say, how long does it take to load up this place? What is that noise? Oh, it's freaking Meru out. It's from over there! Must be something over there. Not just something. It seems the rumor about the sea dragon is true. That is the dragon's cry! I can't blame you for feeling scared. I'm not scared, a dragon or two is nothing! We have to look for a way to go to the prison island. So, the way to get to prison island is we gotta go back to Pete's Town. Can't remember what it's called. 
Nadiera, I guess. So we gotta go here and go talk to the mayor down there. Ocean Terrace, there we go. Why does, like, the intrigue sound playing here? I mean, music. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something. Here we go, how's this? Oh, not again. Yeah, they got a good win. Let's take a break. What do you want? We want to go to the prison island, but we cannot go because of the flood tide. We were wondering if there is any other way to go. You said the prison island? Are you serious? You want to commit suicide or something? We are serious, but we don't want to commit suicide. You know, it's dangerous to go there, young man, but why? Why would you want to throw yourself into danger? Danger attraction. Danger is my middle name. We need to see the monster. Oh. Okay, none of these are really a uh, good option here. You need to see the monsters? You look serious. The appearance. You're a warrior, aren't you? I got it, I'll tell you. But it's up to you whether you can survive or not. I closed the route to the uh, prison island after the monster's problems arose. Why didn't you close the whole cave? It's really dangerous. Then we wouldn't be able to go to Fu uh, Fueno. That's why I closed only the path to the prison island. I have a question. How do you control the tide? Puzzling me. Oh, don't be so puzzled. I just closed the gate to the sea when the tide was full. Then, even after the tide was ebbed, the water level won't go down inside. Oh, my, that's a simple trick. You imagine I could think of something complicated? Ha <laughs> ha Hey, open the gimmick gate for him. I got it. That guy's whole job is to just stand up there in case someone wants to open that gate. Go into the cave from the right side of Pete's house. Turn the valve and you can open the gate. Then you can go to the prison island. Up we go. Oh, dang it. Super controller. Hey, free stuff. Ooh, a healing rain. It's like a healing breeze, except it's on steroids. And a healing fog is a potion on steroids. That doesn't look like you're turning in there, Dart. It's like you're vibrating intensely at it. Now we can go to the prison island. And, it's just re and I just realized, we're probably going to get through the entirety of disc 2 today. Well, that guy's fast. To the pier. I take it that yay is for us getting through the game, I mean the disc today. And we can make it across and actually open this box. It's an attack ball. Yay. Ooh, now that sounds fancy. And probably for Meru. Yep, guys can't equip it. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's 13 to her magic. And 5 to her magic de defense. And when magically attacked, she gets SP. I call that a worthy trade. Hmm, there's a couple of routes we can take here, apparently. Oh hey, I remember those crab things in the back. Those are what you, well, kind of fight if you want to build up your additions in this place, since they had the physical attack barrier as well. Oh come on! Well, someone likes drills, apparently. Yeah, keep on attacking the guy I have guarding. I'm okay with that. Physical attack barrier. Might as well have dart attack, get him some more SP for leveling up his Dragoon. Although admittedly don't really need him to get his Dragoon that much higher. Really final burst is Dart's best magic spell. I mean everybody does get their the Dragon Summon at level 5 Dragoon. But honestly, those spells suck because they cost way too much MP. I mean, at that point, you have 100 MP and the Dragon Summons cost 80. Oh yeah, have fun with that and trying to use it properly. I mean, holy crap. Some really weird timing when it comes to Meru's. It's like it doesn't have a really basic rhythm to it, like some of them. Another time? Okay, I'm like, I'm not exactly. Mad at that, I mean, more addition practice, but really? Alrighty, so. Oh, it's actually attacking. Why am I attacking with dart? Oh, yeah, that's what happens when you fail. It is kind of hilarious to see some of your guys just rocketing backwards after they uh, fail a counter. we get more gushy magma oh my I think I have a bit too much of that ah two more times and it'll level up nice definitely be nice to get that well oh, well at least another level before the boss fight another 40% damage is nothing to sniff at 
Oh, hey, this is where we're supposed to be going. It really won't be a challenge to get another two uses out of it at, at this rate. Oh my, a whole bunch of them, and yeah, I'm using Dart to kill her in the back, because the mermaid love to use ice spells. This is a bad time! And of course Albert can kill these things in one hit. He's friggin' Albert. And you aren't attacking anymore. Oh, physical attack barrier. That's level two, I do believe. So I think his uh, guess the wind dance is doing 280 damage. I mean, 280 percent, I should say. Oh, son of a monkey. Of course we were going to hit that eventually. So we can ditch one of those. Definitely one of the gushing magmas. I have a few too many of those, I think. And we got a recovery ball. Oh, yay. Oh hey, fat dude's new. Oh, still want to focus on her. Oh dang it! It's happening again. Hey, Ma Meru actually has over a thousand HP now. They killed the mermaid already. Yes. He has the freaking blizzard attack. It's never fun to get hit by. Too bad I don't have the wind spear on him. I bet the damage from this would be ridiculous. Even more ridiculous! Well, then again, we're getting to the point where Albert is kind of uh, insane with his damage. Yep, he's at 42, and now I was right. It's at 280% damage. Wait, does that mean it maxes out at 360% damage? Holy crap. And she's up to 10 out of 20. Oh, 
Yep. Okay, we're fighting floating sea piranha. I don't know why they are called sea piranhas when apparently they fly over land and attack things on land. I mean, that kind of goes against what they're calling themselves. Oh, dang it, Mary needs some healing. And I don't want to stop the addition train! Oh, you just picked the worst person to cast that at. <laughs> if it was that Albert, then that might have been a bit scary. Well, or guard. Dang it! And they went for guard. And that was with him guarding! Oh hey, that's the 20 SP from the thingy he equipped. Stuck on something there, and another recovery ball. Yay! I was with this place in the ball items. I swear they're almost useless. Oh great, the eyeballs are back! They won't stop staring! We're slapping! <laughs> Amazingly enough, this dungeon actually does not have any form of recovery point in it. There's actually no real safe way to heal without leaving the dungeon entirely or using items. It just seems like it's been so long since that's happened. Shell things really don't seem to like dark, do they? It's actually getting close to a level. Then again, we're actually getting some form of XP from these guys since they drop about 200, which is way more than anything else we've been seeing in quite some time. Oh, 
Dang it, controller, why? Also inventory, why? Actually. Aha! That's another burnout, okay. Oh, a bitch. Let's see. Lord, I have more. Really? Another ball item? Nobody likes the ball items. Okay, up these stairs, and I do believe we're at the boss fight. Do I like mobile games? Well, honestly, I only just recently got a smartphone, so I haven't really been able to play that many. And the only one I've been really playing recently is Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Well, you know shit's going down once you hear Lloyd's theme start up. Here's the moon dagger that you wanted. I didn't kill those humans as you said, but why did you suddenly start to say such a thing? The blood smeared road might be the only way to lead us to the world we desire. Death gives birth to tears, and tears give birth to anger. When anger turns itself into rancor, it opens to war. It's silly that I have to repeat it, and since once is enough. Well, I won't stop you if you want to do so, Lloyd. Anyway, it's called something like Dart. Aren't they the ones coming after you, Lloyd? It's all in my plan. Hmm, plan, huh? Now let me tell you my plan. My plan is to get a hot prize from you. Tut? <laughs> Who says tut? Hey, you're disturbing my moment here. You're gonna pay for this. Why, why is Lloyd here? Well, who did you think she was working for? Is this all part of your plot? My will is with Emperor Diaz. Namely, everything was planned by the god. You're still talking about that crap. You killed Lavis. Let us settle the score now. I have the call to reform the world. I have no time to pay attention to little things like Lavitz. Lloyd! I can't stand it any- wait, who said that? I'm not sure if that was Lennis, Lloyd, or Dart. I am the one who torched your home to the ground. I am the one who deprived your friend of his life, and I hold the moon gem and the moon dagger in my hands. You abhor me, don't you? I am heading to Melissa Sue. Pursue me if you can survive. Easy, easy, wait a minute. Don't be so hasty. It was nice of him to give you an invitation, but you gotta decline it. I mean, where did you think the Water Dragoon spirit was being held? Because you will die now in here! Also, there is suddenly a dragon. I don't know where the dragon suddenly came from, but it's here now. Get rid of there we go. Oh crap. I know this attack. Well, 
Oh, that's a way to open up a boss fight. Ow! Hey, what? Did he just go? Well, Albert's probably dead. And I was right. Was not planning on having that happen. And all before it could actually get Rose Storm set up. Here's Gas Bliss. It's one of the very, very few spells that actually has a 100% modifier on it. But it's on Albert, so it's completely pointless. Thank you, Rose Storm, because good lord, that hit way harder than I thought it was going to. And Dart still hasn't had a turn. Gotta have Dart be the one to toss the healing breeze. I've already done over a thousand damage to Regal back there. Ow. Right the difference between Albert and Meru's defense, isn't it? Now I don't think healing rains are actually really viable, except for maybe in the final dungeon. All the those you gotta find yourself. Yeah, an interesting thing about this fight is that Regal and Lennis basically have swapped defenses. Lennis is really good against uh, magic attacks, but not so much against, oh dang it, against physical. All Regal is the opposite, as you might notice with the crazy damage that mary has been doing to him. I got mu uh, gushing magma for days. And apparently, Lesh just do just does not feel like using any of her extremely nasty attacks. This time, I got the full thing. Much better. When's it actually going to be Dart's turn again? Holy crap! Oh, hey, they're both at half health now. Ah, oh, crap, here comes the big one again. Yeah, good thing she doesn't wanna. I mean, if both Regal and Lettuce were spamming their big party attacks, they'd probably be in trouble, although this one's bad enough on its own. I swear this game has the friggin' best attack animations on the PS1. There's a surprising amount of detail and animation being put in for some of these attacks.
Finally, Dark gets to attack in, and hey, Regal's almost dead. This is what happens when you plan ahead and actually buy all the attack items you need. She's still just doing her basic chakram throws. What the hell? I mean, I wouldn't mind her using some of her big attacks at least once. I mean, several of these bosses I've already just steamrolled through fast enough that they don't use their best attacks. Like I said, some of the boss animations are really, really great. I mean, heck, we didn't even get to see uh, Garrick's ultimate attack combination with Mappy. That's actually pretty cool. Actually, I mean, why not, right? At the very least, this should do plenty of damage with the Dragoon Edition to Lennis. This will swap to like the uh, final burst after Lennis dies. Oh, what? Oh, that was terrible. This where some time. Oh, she's done. And do you see what I mean when I said this boss fight isn't nearly as bad as the first Lennis fight? I mean, the only attack that's really messed with us is Regal's big attack. Oh yeah, I'm almost hit the quadruple digits there. Anyway, we gotta get the players in place so that we can properly do this. There we go. For you! I well, we found this kind of funny. I mean, it's like, why are you bothering to do this, Shauna? I mean, you weren't pushing him out of the way. That one, and the other one he just knocks aside. Seriously, what was the point of that? Hi, Lannis. I'm glad I'll never have to fight you again. And I'm imagining you can all guess who gets her Dragoon Spirit, right? That's right, Kongol. We want to see him in that outfit. Looks like the Dragoon Spirit is blasting off again! Oh hey! Dark got Madness Hero! Finally. Only one more addition to go for Dart.
And we got our final Dragoon Spirit. Well, technically final. This... It's Meru's Dragoon Spirit? Oh, I'm surprised that Meru was recognized. Rose, you don't want Meru tossing a translate your way. I'm pretty sure she one-shot you. Does that mean this Dragoon Spirit chose me? It means, am I one of the Dragoons? My Blue Sea Dragoon Spirit. I'm a Dragoon too! And Meru will continue to just dance around and run around throughout this entire scene. Dragoon spirits attract each other, and dragoons gather as the spirit dragoon spirit desires, as so as fate leads. Are we drawn to each other like that? Is that what you were saying? It's just folklore. You're going to pursue Lloyd, aren't you? Unfortunately, we have to go meet King Zyre to tell him we couldn't bring the Moon Dagger back. John is just staring at Mary this whole time. Aren't you hurt? No, thanks to you, Dart. She will not stop the dancing. Hey guys, don't ignore me like that! Hey, wait for me! Madness Hero and how much I hate it. It's easily Dart's worst edition in my opinion, especially given how little I use the Dragoon forms myself. It, I mean, you can see its damage percent right there. It's at 100 and it will never go up. At least I don't think it goes up. If it does, it doesn't go higher than 50%. And it does give a ton of SP though. I mean, I think it maxes out at like 150 or 200 or something like that. So if you want to level up Dart's Dragoon form, you go with that. And Albert's at 49 out of 60, and she's at 15 out of 20. And I have heard people having quite a bit of issues trying to do Madness Hero. <laughs> it's not that bad in my opinion. It's just a really constant barrage of X presses. And given how many times you've got to mash the X button in this game, you should be able to hit it fast enough. It just goes at a very constant rhythm when you're using it. It's like... I don't know if you can hear me snapping, but that's like that. Yay, we got all the DS's down there. Aren't they pretty? Well, it does kind of suck for Meru not getting her Dragoon Spirit till now. I mean, we're at the end of Disc 2, and now she's a level 1 Dragoon. And as you might have noticed, Albert and Dart are at level 3 now. So yeah, she kind of has some catching up to do in that regard. I don't think Hammerspin really gets that much SP to it. It's more of an attack addition than it is a SP one. And Albert is still unstoppable. Oh dang it, when's it gonna be Dart's turn? I guess it kind of makes sense given the fact that, you know, Dart is kind of our slowest character now. Okay, Dart have have it. Wait, what? Oh, dang it. Okay, I'm just gonna have Meru in. Albert guard. I do actually want to show the attack off. Here we go. Apparently I've lost the rhythm. Ah! 
Okay, come on, let's get it right this time. Yes. Go. What? Ugh. Um, are you failing me? Because I don't like you failing me, and I forgot he had to attack like that. And dark got fear, dang it. Favorite guy is Lloyd. <laughs> well, too bad he's the bad guy and doomed to die. Guess I remember he dies. Just sworn at. Yep, I did have one mind purifier on hand. Come on, I'd like to get at least one madness hero off before we get out of here. Is that too much to ask for? Oh great. You're being attacked by a sushi platter. God. Okay. And Dart missed. Why are you failing me, Dart? Okay, let's let Dart try to handle this again. There we go. There we go! Ah, crap. Double crap. This is what I get for trying to let Dart show off. Alright, back to Fueno and to the Queen Fury. We got a party to get to! Oh no, a single tiny eyeball thing is attacking us. Whatever will we do? Oh, it did slap dart around there. Oh, dang it, Meru. Goodbye. Mongol reached level 21. Mongol not feel so tiny now. I wonder if Mongol has actually gotten his second edition yet. Six more till it's level four. One more to level two. Yep, Mongol still just on pursuit. 
So it takes Congo the longest to actually reach friggin' uh, well, his second edition. Admittedly, he only has three, but still. And yes, I just wanted to do this to see how much, uh, what changes for Hammer Spin when we level it. I might be wrong, but I think Meryl might have, like, a, how do I put it, lower level requirements for her Dragoon form. At least for, like, the initial two, just because she gets her so late, I want to say. Hope, oh, maybe. So it gets both damage and SP, that's nice. Or no, she needs both at this point. And the drunk dude's still standing in the middle of the town square there. Come on. Why am I stuck on there? Oh. Dart, I've heard about you. You successfully defeated the monster on the prison island and the female bandit. Patrol, you have a long face. We are ready to go back to Fletz in triumph. We couldn't get the moon dagger back. I like the ocean. We know, Pooler, we know! Let yourself flow in the waves and winds. The problems of this world become not a problem at all. Here is the idea, Dart. Why don't you come with me on the ocean? Dart, you would make a great sailor, or even a great man of the sea. Yeah. Well, whoops. Thank you, controller, for that. Man of the sea, not bad. What are you talking about? We have to pursue Lloyd now. Yeah, we have something we have to take care of. Apparently, I ended up trolling Shauna unwittingly. I understand, but it's a shame. However, I'm moved that you consider being a man of the sea. It's small, but it's my farewell gift to you. Take this. Okay, he gave us a hundred bucks for saying we might like to be a man of the sea. Alright, as soon as you're ready, just come on board. Meet you on the boat! You ready for departure? And we just gotta talk to Kayla. Let's go. And at any time we can hit square, like shown there, in order to actually, well, go on to the ship and explore it like we did before. So in case you miss those uh, stardust on the ship, you can go get them easy. Oh no, a wild eyeball has swam up onto the boat. Oh, dang it. I mean, how did he miss? You could clearly see the spear going into that thing there. Dang it. Why am I suddenly having issues with this freaking attack? And what is it doing there? Did it just shoot a love beam at Meru? Meru does not approve! We see more Meru crossplay than any other. 
I haven't really seen that much Legend of Dragoon cosplay in either case. Oh dang it, I hate this old lady. She keeps on blocking the one route to the friggin' in, uh, port. Into the Barrens again! Oh, dang it. Thanks, controller. Interesting. Although, at least some of their outfits I don't think would be that difficult as well for the guys. I mean, darts is basically just jeans and his red armor. And Lavitz is basically plate mail. Any LARPer probably has a Lavitz outfit somewhere. <laughs> And Mirror still doesn't do good damage to these guys. Oh right, we do have that weapon for Dart we should probably equip him with. Get rid of the Heat Blade. Can't do anything without face planting, can you? Yeah. No big surprise. I don't know if anybody is actually tall enough to ever pull off a Congo cosplay, man. You'd have to be Mr. Big, Big McLarge Huge in order to handle that. Maybe Vin Diesel could do it. Oh, well, for that, Vin Diesel would have to have hair. Good night! Is Albert close to another level? I think he might be. Oops. Not oh, that it really matters. There's no more bosses on this disc. And I went the wrong way. I go through this place enough, you'd think I'd have it memorized already. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Duh. 
Tough expecting him to be dead there. Oh well, gives Dart a chance to use Madness Hero. I mean, Dart is now our slowest party member. Eh, maybe after uh, Albert gets his... Oh, he needs about 100 more XP to level up again. Nice. Probably level up in the well, first area of Millie since of course that's where we're going next. Alright, whoa, 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 controller, what are you doing to me? You're getting me into random encounters. And we're fighting another scissor hand. Albert actually goes first. I'm not gonna complain. More addition XP for the addition gods. More blood for the blood god. Skulls for the skull throne. And <laughs> we're also back to getting XPs that are only in like tens, maybe. And that's the last we get to hear of my favorite overworld music. Hey, Link Bahamut! Princess Emil is here! How are you doing today, buddy? Let's go! I gotta see my crush! Her graceful steps, her dainty movements of the hands, her gracious eyes! She must be- she is our Princess Emil! Princess Emil is back! I have returned after half a year's sleep. My father, King Zyre, wouldn't say it, but I heard that the evil doings of the sinner who feigned to me me has harmed our people in Tiberoa. I can say it is my fault because people were wounded by trusting someone they thought was me. I am determined to make atonement for this, even if it takes forever. It wasn't your fault, your majesty. Please do not blame yourself, your highness. The returning only makes us happy. I owe you a debt of gratitude. I love this country. I love you people. Let us make this country continue to be a wonderful country. Let's make Tiberoa great again! Wait, you got Orlando? How could you not be ecstatic about that? I have a favor to ask of you, Princess Emile. I ask you to name my baby, my soon-to-be-born baby, Your Highness. It would be my pleasure. How about I I for a girl? How do you pronounce that? And L for a boy? Seriously, I hope it's a boy because what the heck is that girl's name? Emil, you need to work on your naming sense. They have the sound of great energy and strength. They're beautiful names. I thank you very much, Highness. God bless Princess Emil. God bless Tiberoa Kingdom. All the best for the kingdom and us. Ooh, Princess Emil, how beautiful she is! Albert? Just like I imagined. Oh, thank you, Lord, for leading me to the country of Princess Emil! Is something wrong? Oh, oh! Shit! Oh no, where's Princess Emil? You can meet her again in the castle! I won't stop you, folks, you can pass freely. We know, that's the only line you say anymore, dude. We have been waiting for you, sir. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. Well, time to report to the King that we kinda succeeded and kinda failed. I mean, of course Lloyd has to get all the moon items, otherwise we can't have our host gotta save the world event at the end. Heroes, forget about formality, you are the special guest of Tiberoa! 
Welcome back! I'm glad you are safe and sound. My sister is now acting as if nothing happened, but until you came back, King Albert, she had lost her appetite completely. It's not only a meal. We were longing for all of you to come back. Well done. But the moon dagger is still in their hands. Stop it! You people brought justice upon the evil bandits. You defeated the sea dragon that infested Elisa Bay. It was you, young people, who brought peace and happiness to Tiburo and brought smiles back to our people. However, the moon dagger has to be passed on to Princess Emile. The moon dagger is a mere royal tradition. Tradition alone doesn't put smiles on our people's faces. That is all the moon dagger can be. King Albert, we are satisfied with the way things turned out. Instead of the moon dagger, we have found something else to hand down. That is, the heroic story of you. It will be passed down through the ages from person to person. The seven stars arose from the east to save the country of the king who lived in the chamber of the sun. Got three clerics though, oh my. Well hey, in Final Fantasy 1 the best team was four clerics. It was my pleasure, your majesty. That's enough formality. We are having a banquet for you, please enjoy yourself. Is a banquet a party? Plainly speaking, yes it is! Cool, it's a party, a party for us! And off she goes. Oh, Meru, behave and be quiet. Ha ha ha, she is cheerful and excited. We still have time before the party. Please feel free to relax. Let's prepare for the banquet. It seems we can relax for the first time in a long time tonight. I think so too. We have to leave here tomorrow. It is a good chance to relax. At least it's so, the country where Dart was born. We'll be busy again. When have we not been busy? I'll be walking around till the party starts. And then everyone just wanders off. Hey, where are you going? I have an errand to do. What errand? Are you going too, Rose? Let me go too. You have to appreciate what everyone did. Why don't we go out too? I love you, Dart. Well, that was a sudden way to start this. Since I was little. It never changed, even when you went on your journey, Dart. Actually, I started to love you even more. Because while you were gone, I was thinking about you every single day. Shauna. So I don't mind being your baby sister because I can be with you every day. That's just how I think. I... I don't think of you as a baby sister, Shauna. I... Let's continue this after our journey is over, alright? And cock blocked. Dart, welcome back. <laughs> What's wrong? You have a sour face. You you think so? Anyway, you are famous in the city. The hero who defeated the dragon that descended down on Tiberoa. If you say so, it still doesn't feel like it's real. It's your modest attitude. You're the Times' latest hero. Um. By the way, your party is starting. Get rid of your sour face and be happy. See you later. And the love music starts to kick in again. And cock blocked again. Oh, Mr. Dark, Miss Shauna, why are you here? We are waiting for the party to start. It's starting soon. Please get everyone or I cannot prepare the dresses. I'll see you later. And at this moment, Dart is hating life. I'm going to look for everybody. Wait! Damn it! <laughs> Alright, as I recall, well, I think everybody can probably figure out where Albert is. Oh, whoops.
Of course he's hanging out with Emil. I mean, Emil is his bae, after all. Do you know about the legend of the mermaid? No, please tell me about it. The king of some countries gazing out over the waves of the sea and thinking his life is hollow, just like the vanishing bubbles. Everything looks like that because the king didn't know true love. Under the waves, a mermaid was thinking the same thing while gazing at the clouds in the sky. Oh my, and what happened to the two of them? Would you like to know? This is a secret story handed down only within the Sergio royal family, so I cannot tell you anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, it cannot go on. Oh, you are teasing me. But I am having a fabulous time. I don't notice the passing of the time when I'm talking with you. I knew it, you were here. Is something wrong? The party is starting soon, so I'm calling everybody down. It's already that time. Unfortunately, I have to leave you. When can we meet again? When the stars fill the sky. You can simply say tonight. At the party. We're getting out of here before the sappiness contracts me some diabetes. Let's see, I think we also do have to go see Lisa. If not, so I think this is also where you see the little... Oh, what's wrong one? The little thing that kind of suggests that she has a crush on Nello. Uh, the dude who was talking about the... The whole, uh, bring green back to the desert thing and all that. Who only existed basically to act as an inn for us for some reason. Uh, seriously, the princesses must not need to worry about cardio at all. A strong heart. A passionate eye. A fabulous man. Uh... Oh, Dart, how long have you been there? Long enough. Long enough. How may I help you? Everyone's looking forward to the uh, attending the party tonight. Of course I am, too. Uh, I could have sworn it was a bit more direct that she was staring at Nello through the telescope there. Let's see. As I recall, Hashel and Mary are over here. Yep. Joseph Peak is fine. I want to see the party food. You're not going to eat it now. We just want to sample the food. That is eating. Come on. Please get out. You are delaying the preparations. Mr. Dart, please stop them. Wars are never choose their time. You have to eat whenever you can. That is a basic understanding for a warrior. You want to eat too, don't you, Dart? Me too. I'm hungry. Stop it, you're not a kid anymore! Wait, when did Shauna rejoin us? You too, Hashel, the party's starting soon. Behave yourself. Is that true? Why didn't you say so? Yes, I'm here to tell you that. Come on, let's go! And over here, I do believe, is Rose. Yep. I am a hero. You would laugh at me. Huh? I laughed now. I did laugh. Since I have started to wear this choker, I have not laughed for years. It was worth the wait. Ah, Rose is coming out of her shell. Oh, you are here. I'm here to tell you that the party is starting. It'll be a fun party.
Hongol has friends. Pretty sure many a joke could have been made from what well, Kongo was saying there. Friends of different species. Not bad. Whoa! Don't do that! That's what I should say! Did you hear Kongo speaking? Not really. By the way, the party is starting. Everybody's here. And now they want us to reform the party, even though there's no fighting to be involved. By the way, she was saying something about dresses, but where should we go? We have to ask Libria about it. I mean, like, right up here? You know, the room that's full of dresses? It seems everyone is here. Miss Shauna, Miss Rose, and Miss Mario, please come this way. You have to change into the dresses. Dresses? You're talking about us? Yes, I am. Princess Emile and Princess Lisa, Lisa insist. Good for you. No, thanks. It's not like you. Because I'm a dancer. I can't dance well in these dresses. No, thanks for me either. I feel naked without my sword. Please wait in the living room. I will come and take you there later. And all the guys are forced off into the side room while waiting. Everything is ready. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. You know, I thought the party was starting soon, not as in, like, in a few hours in the evening. This is a banquet to honor the seven heroes who saved Tiberoa. Please enjoy yourselves to the utmost. And this is another one of those little sections where we got to talk to all of our party members. Gotta love the low res models for the dancers here. What did you do to Shauna? Do? I didn't do anything! No Shauna here. No? Kongo tall. Kongo doesn't see from here. Where is she? Pongo no no. Mr. Dart! Wait for us! You must be Mr. Dart. I am dying to hear your story. Oh, excuse me, but mono monopolizing him is not fair. Please let me hear your story too. I would like to know more about you. Oh my, don't be fresh with him. I talked to him first. Oh my, Dart is a hit with the ladies. Oh, you must be Mr. Hashel. I'll take care of things here. Why don't you go and enjoy yourself with Shauna? Well, I handed the ladies tonight. At least tonight you have to make good use of the time the two of you are together. Thank you. And Meru is just happily dancing all about. Are you enjoying yourself? Yep, it's fun. Are you going to dance too? Eh, I'll try. Right on. Was not expecting them to ballroom dance. Where is Shauna? I don't know. Go look for her. She should be waiting for you. Come on, go. And of course, Albert is talking to Emil. I have to go to Melissa So with Dart. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you forever. Emil will said the future of Sergio and Tibero is shining like the sun. I believe love is the only entity that never changes over time. That's kinda iffy, dude. Distant makes the love grow deeper. I mean, how many stories are there about, like, husbands and wives going uh, mad and killing each other or something like that? I cannot watch this anymore. It's too sappy! Too sappy! What's wrong? You have a long face! If you're looking for Shauna, she is not here. Now go away! I'm trying to mack on her! Mr. Dart? Miss Rose needs you. This way. And now all of a sudden, all the areas over here are way out. Cursey? Cursey what? Rose? 
Dart, why are you procrastinating like that? Do you want her to catch a cold or something? Making her wait all night like that. I've been looking for her all night. She's over there. Ah, uh, Rose is being nice to them. Hmm, I feel like we should be busting out the Beauty and the Beast theme here. You look beautiful. Thank you. But it's all thanks to this dress. That's not true. Look, a falling star! A whole bunch of falling stars! I wonder if my wish will come true. It will. Because I wish the same thing. And finally they kiss. <laughs> With Rose watching. Just watching. And that's the end of disc two. And naturally, we're gonna end it here. <laughs> I mean, it just seems like such a perfect spot to end it, you know? So, thanks to everybody who came on out tonight. And my word, it's been quite a night, it seems. Don't normally get these kind of numbers. Let's see, and I think tonight I'll be ho oh hey, looks like it's someone's birthday on my follow list. So let's be nice and send her some nice hosting. Watching and imagining Tito Masochist things. Oh God. Anyway, tomorrow's Saturday, so it's gonna be Sui Coded instead of Legend of Dragoon tomorrow. So I hope to see you all again next time. Well, and, well, I guess see you later. Sorry, I am not know my brain's just trailing off as I attempt to do this <laughs> outro. So, see you all later, hopefully.